Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I have a special guest, Zinan. Hello. Zinan, <laughs> Zinan actually won a, should I say, raffle on the Radio Regenbogen 2, which is a local radio station here. And I am the main prize. So he can spend an entire day with me. And we've done a lot of fun things today already, even though it's a little bit rainy. Uh, he also volunteered to help me on this next video. And this video is all about hammers and nails. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the hammer let me show you its features okay so this is the hammer and it has a pretty high weight piece here and it's actually hardened steel and you use it to you know to drive a nail into a piece of wood or some other material very simple the problem though is that often you hit your thumb ouch and also the problem that you often have is that it just takes several blows to get it into a board how many blows well we'll find out we have a piece of board here and we have a volunteer who is going to try to hammer it in. So, do your best. <laughs> so, technically that was, there was two blows, but we can also see that the nail is no longer completely straight. Which is a common problem. Try again. So that was pretty good and I think of course if you're really well trained and a good carpenter you can probably get it in with one blow most of the time but not always. So the challenge is can we do any better with a rubber operated device? Yeah, I think we can. Let me show you what I came up with. This is it. <laughs> the nail hammer. So it is actually a piece of uh, round iron pretty thick it's running inside here and it is attached to a steel rod that runs through this channel here. So, you know, what you, what you can do with this is you have a lever, so you put it over the nail and then you release it and the hammer falls down on the nail. And it is pretty impressive. So, but of course that is not good enough to really drive the nail in. What we need is rubber <laughs> so we will use very ordinary office rubber bands the nice thing is it is fully scalable we can start with just two bands per side and then go up if we need more so it's one side and the second side and if you do this the character of the hammer immediately changes even though this is really light rubber it is also very easy to cock it like so and then we got it ready for hammering away now look what happens when we use this kind of rubber. <laughs> Much different. And you can even see a nice print here. So if we add enough rubber, I think we can make it hammering in the nail with just one blow. To give you an idea about how much rubber is a lot of rubber, it's this much. <laughs> so now we will cock it, but that's a monster amount of rubber. And it's really not easy to cock it now. Let's try. You cock it like a crossbow, which means you put it down, step on it, and then you, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it's cocked. And now what you do is you put this over the nail, like so. Then you have to press down very hard on it because the recoil will actually make it move it upwards. And then you pull the lever. <laughs> and the nail is completely in with some force. <laughs> so this is the blow. You can see one hit was enough to hammer it in with some reserve. <laughs> and that was the first one. So, jetzt so lange ziehen, bis es oben einrastet. Noch ein Stück? Ja, wunderbar. Prima. So. And now put it over the nail. So turn it around a little bit. Now you have to press down on it really hard, because it will want to jump up. Pull the trigger. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's your nail. <laughs> Completely crazy and useless, but fun. 
<laughs> so now that we really proved that this is a really good hammer, the question is, is it also good for something else? Well, this is basically a captive bolt device. And I think if I would shorten it here so that more of the rod would poke out, you could even use it to, uh, I don't know, slaughter pigs or cows or something, because that's what captive bolt devices are used for. You know, press it against the forehead of the animal and then bang. And we can try, this is not a lot, we can try with the coconut. <laughs> so, here is our coconut. <laughs> Let's see if our captive bolt nail hammer can really punch a hole through it, even though this is such a short piece that pokes out. Well, let's cock this beast. All right. It's out. Okay. And bang! Let's have a look. Woo! <laughs> The whole thing broke. I think it shot the bolt. <laughs> and it's right in the coconut. Look at that, guys. It's now the coconut hammer. <laughs> See, I had fixed this inside of the big piece with this uh, steel part, which actually broke. It was accelerated so heavily and there was no nail to stop it that it simply kept on flying and it, it, it Shared this, this hardened steel bit clean off and let's see what happened to the coconut. Wow! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> what a hammer. <laughs> In any case, I hope you liked this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>